From roads to rails to runways, millions of Americans are actually already on their way to Turkey Day destinations. Here's a live look through our iCam in Windsor Locks at the airport. Again, we've been dealing with a lot of rain this morning, and that's where we find Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Dylan Fearon. Dylan, how are things going there? Hey, Kara, good afternoon. Luckily, everything right now is pretty calm. No crazy lines to get through security. A few people at the ticket window, people able to pass by through to security very quickly. But at 11 o'clock this morning, Kara, it was packed. People could barely move right here because there are four flights leaving at around 1 or 1.30 out of Bradley to Atlanta, Philadelphia, Baltimore, and Fort Lauderdale. Also a flight coming up to San Juan, Puerto Rico. But luckily, things are calm right now. And according to AAA, airports around the country are going to be packed 55 million people in the U.S. traveling for Thanksgiving weekend. And we know in Connecticut, AAA says around 600,000, but 85% of those are driving today. Anytime we travel, we always fly. So, I mean, when you're on vacation, it's about having the time to be able to enjoy vacation instead of driving hours to have to rest. More packed than I thought. A flight in was good, a little bumpy up there. Yeah, a little bumpy yeah. towards the end coming in um, to the airport, but otherwise very good. Yeah, things looking good right now, but Kara, we know a lot of people, thousands in Connecticut, will be driving to their Turkey Day destination tonight, myself included. AAA says if you're doing that, watch out for that hectic traffic between 2 o'clock and 6 o'clock tonight and on Thanksgiving Day between 11 and 3. Live at Bradley, I'm Dylan Fear in Channel 3 Eyewitness News. Okay.